Have you imagined being able to integrate the Domino server's capabilities and the growing advantages of Node.js development? Starting Domino Server version 10, it became possible to perform operations from Node.js applications to Domino databases. And this is through the use of Domino App Dev Pack. This App Dev Pack adds Node.js support to our Domino Server and it consists of three related components, namely the Proton, the Domino DB, and IAM. First would be the Proton. Proton is a Domino server add-in task that provides services to Node.js application. The diagram shows that this enables our Domino servers to be able to communicate to Node.js apps. The Domino DB module, on the other hand, is a module that we should be adding in our Node.js application. This Domino DB uses the Proton to perform operations on the documents in Domino server databases. These are operations such as reading, updating, deleting, or creating documents. The last component would be IAM. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management, and the IAM is implemented as a Node.js application, which provides safe user authorization. You can leverage IAM to authorize and generate access tokens for your application to allow it to access Domino resources. There are a couple of configurations and setups on the Domino side if you would like to utilize this feature. The Domino app dev pack consists of the following files. In this video, we will be focusing on the installation of the Proton add-in task on top of Domino Server 1101 sitting on Windows environment. To show you here a Domino server and I have downloaded the Domino app dev pack. What we need to do is to extract the Proton add-in file into our Domino program directory. So we hit OK here. And let's start the Domino server. To verify if we were able to successfully add the Proton task, let's issue load space Proton. So here, we were able to see that the Proton server or add-in has been initialized successfully. Now to see the statistics of this specific task, that issues show space Proton. You can also add this task in the server task line so that whenever the server starts the proton add in task also loads so you can add the term proton here in this note that i know parameter to quit the proton task you can issue the command tell space proton space quit so that's how you get started with using the domino at the back for complete instructions, you can visit the Domino App Dev Pack documentation in the link in the presentation.